Hey everyone, it's Dr. Rick, the founder of Herbal 411, and uh, today's tutorial is on why do hacks. Hacks are shortcuts to getting to a goal. Uh, you can do a hack like when you're in a trail and you want to shortcut the trail, you can certainly go through the brush and then get to where you have to get to, or forget the switchbacks to get to the top and go straight up if you can endure the altitude and or the angle. But in the regards to lifestyle change, it's always nice to have hacks to shorten the suffering. And, and let's face it, healthy lifestyle, when you initiate it, is a bit of suffering because of not having either done exercise your whole life, uh, uh, practiced a healthy diet, which usually means you're gonna have to cut back on something, or practice mindfulness, which uh, a lot of people, as I always allude to in my videos, a lot of people, that's a tough sell because that whether you're agnostic, atheist, or don't have a religion, or you don't even have a meditative practice, a lot of my patients will say when I ask them about stress neutralization, well, I'm not stressed out. Well, today's topic has to do with stress. Whether it's external stress and social stressors from work, family, uh, other things that you engage, like driving to work every day, and the traffic, or it's mitochondrial stress. So that thing there is a bean, it looks like a bean, but it's uh, the powerhouse that you'll find in every cell in your body, except for the red blood cells. And mitochondria, and there's a whole litany of where that came from and uh, how to treat it, but the data today is so fantastic that we're seeing more and more rep good reputation schools of research putting out data on mitochondria and the value of treating mitochondria or what happens when mitochondria, these powerhouses in every cell, what happens when they go off the reservation, they don't work properly. And uh, it's, it, it's a deeper dive, so I'm not gonna talk about it now. I, what I wanted to do is talk about hacks and why I do certain things that I do, which would be today I'm on my third day of fasting. And I, don't, I do not do, I'm not used to doing a 24 hour fast or a water only fast just yet. I have a lot of patients that go through that. That's a bit too much suffering for me. And I've found that easier ways to do it for me would be either the fasting mimicking diet, which is produced by Volter Longo, or at least studied by Volter Longo. And includes five days a month of de decreasing, essentially decreasing your total calories per day and making it mostly plant-based or what I do is an OMAD, one meal a day. And I've done a video on that. I, I believe I'll put a link if I can uh, down in the description. And one meal a day seemed to be easier uh, than f doing the five days of the fasting mimicking diet. But bottom line is that whether you're doing a hack like that or not, I do them because they seem to work. And it is now September 13th and it's really hot out, but I have this insulated jacket on because on my third day, my thyroid is starting to shut down or decrease in function because the likelihood is, and I'm only doing that by feel of how I've done these in the past and knowing what my, my levels came out as before when I used to self-experiment. I used to self-experiment uh, and get data a lot. Now that my insurance is a little bit uh, limited, I can't necessarily do all the blood tests I want or all the imaging tests I want, but I know from before with my experimentation, self-experimentation, N of one studies, that uh, this kind of feel of being ch kind of chilly is usually a hallmark of my thyroid shutting down and responding to total calories being decreased. So let's, uh, in fact, I have something warm here that usually don't drink in the summertime, but uh, I think it's necessary because I'm trying to stay warm. So why am I trying to do this? Uh, I think that all of us have our demons to work on, meaning our medical problems that we have to chip away at. If you don't address your medical problems, then eventually the medical problem will blossom and you'll have the fullest expression of disease. The fullest expression of disease is gonna be death. But before that, with regards to the health span before you croak, there's always gonna be suffering and whether it's uh, some form of problems with your heart and functioning or some form of problems with your brain and functioning, 
or some form of problems with your breathing or metabolism and functioning. Those are not ways that you want to live. I, I know a lot of people that will say, well, I don't, I've lived a good life, so I'm ready to die. Well, well, nowadays you don't just die and you don't have that luxury. You will suffer before you die. And what my teacher, Andy Weil, has always taught me and all the others that graduate from his fellowship class, you want to compress morbidity, meaning you want to try to live as long as you can with a healthy lifespan, a health span, meaning uh, no suffering, and you want to postpone death, meaning a long lifespan. If you can get it to the point where you get sick and die over the course of a week and you live to like 100, that's great. In fact, those of you who have Netflix, check out Living Till 100. It was a uh, Dan Buettner uh, wrote a book called The Blue Zones, not to detract from my talk today, but in The Blue Zones, that's five different places that he found uh, when he studied longevity. There are places in the world where people make it to 100, and in those places, he tried to figure out what's the prevailing um, practice of lifestyle that got those people to 100, and there was, I'm not going to give away the, uh, the uh, Easter egg, but there was a commonality, and Theoretically, if you deploy the commonality where you are, even if you don't live in a blue zone, you should be able to improve life. And what we're finding now with all the data that's being released and the research, it's a hot topic button now. And people are trying to reverse the disease that they're facing. And a lot of middle-aged folks, by the time they get to middle age before they retire, will be hit in the face with disease meaning elevated cholesterol, elevated glucose, high blood pressure, erectile dysfunction, me perimenopause is coming way too early. So all these things are not great. It, it, God forbid if you have the worst, which is memory and energy def deficits, that's just not a great way to survive, especially if you still have a good 20 years ahead of you of productivity. Uh, so disability is always an option if you want to take that route, but that's terrible to put the burden of taking care of you on your family or taking care of you by the government. And the government's not going to do that, by the way. So uh, the importance is no matter what age you are, if you're in your 20s and 30s and not feeling anything, but noticing a little bit of slowing down, if you're in your middle age years, 40s, 50s, and you're starting to accumulate medical disease, meaning that diseases are starting to be discovered with you and your doctor because you're going to see your doctor. Or if you're in your 60s, 70s, and 80s and you are feeling it and that this is not the life that you wanted when you were thinking about beautiful retirement, being stuck at home or seeing doctors every couple weeks is not fun, especially if all you get is bad, bad, bad. Eat right, exercise, get some good sleep, and take your medicines. Th that's not fun. But if we can articulate change, meaning hack your way to a healthy lifestyle, to, in other words, speed up getting to healthy, that would be great with the least amount of effort. And that's where I think taking care of your mitochondria and knowing how mitochondria works would be one thing versus your doctor just saying, take CoQ10, take NAD or NR, take uh, resveratrol. I, I don't think it's as empowering as giving you information about why this thing is not working properly and how to reverse it. I think coming up with a plan like that and giving you the keys to the kingdom so you don't need us would be the more important way to educate. That's what the physician is supposed to do is educate. Or peptides. And I'll be talking about two things in the next month, uh, in the next 30 days, uh, September to October of 2023 to empower you and start the conversation about how can we get life better without suffering so much and without spending a million bucks. So these two hot button topics are great. I think that's important to have a coach and several coaches on your team to give you the highest chances of success. The head coach should be somebody that knows how to interpret the data, knows you, and knows how the other coaches work. But then there's always great value to have a nutrition coach, a spiritual coach, a, an exercise coach, and then maybe a sleep coach. But um, again, getting those folks and finding those folks first would be important in your area, maybe covered by insurance, maybe not covered by insurance, but try to let go of that concept. Is it covered by insurance? If it's not, I'm not doing it. Because insurance, 
Medical insurance is not there to prevent disease. It's there to manage disease. I don't think it's there to even modify it. It just manages it. And if you want to do medicines while you find your way, I think that's fair. That's also a hack too. Using prescription medicines to reset your circadian rhythm, fall asleep, uh, get you the strength you need to exercise in the gym, uh, cut the the cravings when you engage a nutritional deficit or a change in nutrition. I think those hacks are important, but they're not supposed to be there forever. Uh, my folks who use testosterone, I think testosterone is a great thing if you have low testosterone or if you're at an age group where you don't need the testosterone for erection, but when you exercise, you don't get any response because your muscle isn't getting any testosterone. I think it's important to use that hack, whether you're male or female, to develop the muscle, to have the cardiovascular resistance and a fine-tuned strength so that you can get off the testosterone, lower your cholesterol, lower your blood sugar, and move forward with more exercise and be independent. So that's a hack. Supplements are a hack, especially if you're talking about mitochondrial efficiency. I think peptides also are a hack. Uh, in fact, most of you will hear about the most popular peptide, Ozempic or semaglutide. Semaglutide is a peptide that has been studied for diabetics, but now it's a hot ticket to lose weight because it cuts back on appetite, it decreases cravings, it lowers blood glucose, and it unfortunately causes constipation, but that's the price you pay for cutting appetite because there's so many foods that are out there that are hyperpalatable and low satiety that drive you into diabetes. And with all that excess amount of glucose or fructose, guess what you become? You become insulin resistant and you also damage the mitochondria going back to our original. So you see how all this stuff loops together? The investment is always there. Getting the jalopy or the car started from stall is a little bit tough, but if you can endure the amount of investment that's necessary, you get the car started and move the car with the help of a bunch of people pushing the car, it'll collide on its own and then eventually you can jump start and you'll be fine without all the assistance. And that's what my job is, is integrative medicine is to integrate care, give you education and give you the best uh, results with the least amount of effort. So hopefully this gives you a couple of ideas and maybe motivation. If you don't have a doctor, then I'll put my link down below in the description. Or if it's YouTube, you can certainly click on my uh, website and it's in my description as well for my landing page at YouTube. Otherwise, please try to stay healthy. Try to do your best you can. If you're already there and you feel pretty healthy, test yourself out. Go to your doctor, get some te blood tests, fasting, and see if your internals actually match your externals. And don't forget to consider subscribing to my YouTube channel if this helps and share this with other people. Otherwise, I'll see you at the next video. Stay healthy.